What's going on everybody? Dylan Curry here with the Ultimate Predator. Trying that name. See how we go. Anyway. On the bay, Quinny, jigging away. As you can see, in my new Ice Hut Clam Nanook XT Thermal. Um, do a quick review on it while we're fishing and why the bite's slow. Um, I fucking love this hut. This hut is a fucking unit. Um, as you guys can probably tell before, I was running the Clam Nanook non-thermal. Um, that hut was great for a first time hut. I had that for seven years. That hut was great. The only problem I didn't like about the non-thermals, ooh, the back's tight. The only problem I don't like with the non-thermals is a lot of, when you're running your heater all day and you're in, uh, you know, like it's cold, like right now I'm fishing a minus 25, 40 kilometer winds, it's fucking cold. Um, if I was in my non-thermal, my heater would be on high. Um, the condensation builds up and like you hit the edge and like there's water built up on the sides all over, like, it sucked right and it's a non-thermal right so it breaks the wind it was good anything under minus 20 to fish in the non-thermal was very good um anything over minus 20 you're fucked like you're cold like you're gonna be a jacket mitts and crap like that um it was cold highly recommend get a clam thermal you know if it's just you you know going out now the I got the two man because I like a lot of space beside me. You know, I carry a lot of shit. You know, buddy wants to come out with me. I can put the extra seat in, you know, whoever. So the two mans are good. And also I like clams because they make the lightest weight flip over hut out there. So the clam to nook non-thermal that I had, I was pulling that fully gear by myself. No problem. Foot of snow. Don't get me wrong. It sucks, but it was still good. I was carrying that just pulling it with no machine, nothing. Um, the non-thermal was weighing probably about 75 pounds with all my gear in it. Like just the flip over high itself with one seat. I think it was 60 pounds maybe, let's say. So you, know, you got to think about that. Like when you're walking out on first ice and it's just ice, no snow. Absolutely. You're going to think, oh, this is great. Uh, try trucking that in a foot of snow. It freaking sucks. You know, that's where you get into proper setup on when you're pulling your sled. Um, you know, how you want to have all your weight distributed evenly. You know, you want to have it at the back. Maybe I'll do another video of that on how to properly load your sled for when you're pulling it by, you know, by hand kind of thing. Maybe I should do that. But this clam thermal, amazing. Um, I fished a couple days ago. I'm fishing today, minus 25. The other day was minus 30. Um, I've had my heater only on low. I haven't had it on high yet and I'm out here all day. This thing's great. As you can see, I'm in my striker bibs. I'm in a hoodie. Like I put a toque on just cause I kept popping over to my brother's side seeing what he's doing going outside. Um, this thing is so warm. Like it's, it, it's amazing. You know, like um, I highly recommend. Clam did well with this thermal. This is the brand new one, the 2023 uh, edition. It's lots of room. Uh, the XT. What, what that stands for is extra tall. I'm six foot, I can perfectly stand straight up and my head is just hot, touching the top. I think it's a 96 inch to the top. Um, you got the other one, so my brother's got the thermal, but he has the XL, which is extra long. Um, I think he, I think his, I don't know how long it is, but mine and his are actually the same length when you set it up now. So he's got the XL, but he's got the two-year-old version. I have the XT, which is extra tall. It's the same setup length, same fishing square footage area. The only difference is mine's taller, but uh, really good hut. As for weight for pulling it, I think it's about 75 pounds. You know, like just the hut itself with my gear, you know, like maybe 90. You know, like you got your auger, your rods, I got a bag full of food, a bag full of drinks, stuff like that. Your, you know your heater your minnow bucket five pound propane tank you know like it adds up people say oh i'm not pulling that you might need a machine well if you have a machine great the only problem with the machine is when there's four inches of ice i i like to go in about depending on the lake uh three inches of ice I, i'm good to go on bay of quinny i'm not going in anything less than four i don't like that unless but it's gonna be four solid hard good inches of black ice but you know, you don't need a machine. I mean, like, just go do leg day. Like, just pull the fucking thing. Like, don't be a bitch. But if you're gonna sit around and, you know, like, you have a machine and you're gonna wait till you got six inches of ice to put a machine on it, then, well, you're missing early season because early season's great. Um, yeah, no, this hut's amazing. It doesn't let, there's no moisture, no condensation buildup. This thing's amazing. Holds the heat in very well. Um, when I set out, I, you know, every couple hours, I'm actually turning my heater off. 
you know, and just let it, the heat just stays in here for about an hour. Then I'll turn my heater back on. This thing holds the heat in very well. So highly recommend Clam Nanook XT Thermal. Amazing. I think with taxes in, I think it's, uh, I think I, you know, it was about 1600 for this. Uh, you know, like, and I bought some other shit with it. Obviously I got runners. Obviously I've got a cover for it. You know, just the hut itself with no runners. Yeah, I think it's only like 1300 maybe, 1299, 1199 or something like that. I would suggest get the runners. It's just gonna save the bottom of your sled. Definitely get that. Um, yeah, this hut's amazing. You know, I got uh, three doors. So I got one on my right, one on my left, one at the back. I got windows everywhere and got storage pockets on the sides. Got a storage pocket up top, uh, two air holes. Yeah, this, this hut's great. Um, definitely big upgrade from my non-thermal to the thermal. I'm saving on propane. You know, like these minus 10 days, I used to fish in my brother's hut, his thermal, and we wouldn't have the heater on and we'd be in sweaters in minus 10. Uh, yeah, these huts are very great. Very good. If you're going to go look to buy a hut, definitely get one of those. Other biggest debate is people say, what's the difference between a flip over and a hub shelter? I do a lot of run and gun on lakes sometimes. Uh, Bay Quinney is kind of different, but other lakes, you know, like I'll hit a spot, fish it for two or three hours. If I'm not getting anything, I'll up and move again. Um, you got the morning bite, you got the midday bite sometimes, and then the afternoon bite. You know, if the morning bite's going shit, then I'm gonna pick up and I'm gonna move a couple hundred yards. Look at your Navionics app, you know, go take a walk. All I have to do is just flip it over, put my stuff in, throw it away. You know, when you're running a shelter hub kind of thing, when you set up shop, you're not, you can move, but like you're, it's a lot. Like you gotta take it, you gotta break it all down, you gotta pack it up, you gotta go, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's so much shit. Like I don't, I like these flip, I like the flip overs. They have the built in uh, sleds, built in seats, you know, so like, you, if you got a shelter, you've got to go buy your own uh, sled, like your own thing to put your shit in, sled, toboggan to pull everything in. You gotta buy a chair, all that. Like, oh, I don't have to do any of that shit. Yeah, you know what? Shelters are cheaper, like $7.99, $8.99. For an extra four or 500 bucks, why don't we just get the whole thing? Freaking built in sled, built in chairs. Like, that's just my thinking, you know? Like, I ain't breaking down. I'm not, last thing I want to do is set up shop. Hang out for a bit, now you're not marking fuck all. And then it's like, okay, now they're not here, now what do you do? You're gonna go outside and jig in minus 20? Yeah, fuck that. No. I like the flip overs. They're very good for moving around the old running gun and that's the fishing I like to do, so. Yeah, very good, very good. I like these flip overs, very good. This is an amazing upgrade. Yeah, very good, Clam did well. Clam makes the lightest weight uh, shelters. Their quality, back in the day, they used to be, uh, they're a little cheap, but the, cheap made crap quality um they came a long way the price is still decent reason why i run clam and not eskimo um a little windy there hitting the camera um eskimo huts are great uh, flip overs are great i've been in them the only problem is they make very long ones long sleds and now you got to worry about if you have a truck or suv i'm pretty sure a five foot seven truck bed won't hold uh certain two-man eskimos so you always gotta worry about that. Fuck, that almost fucking cold, almost went for a swim. So, yeah. You know, yeah, just do your research. You always wanna do that, right? You got a mark coming in. If I get a fish on camera, that'd be pretty wicked. the other one otter otter makes a great hut i've been in some otters the only problem with otters is they're fucking heavy they're the heaviest ones out there great quality they are very fucking heavy so so yeah I, i'm a clam guy i like clam i've ran clams i've been in eskimos amazing products just they're extra long make sure you got a six foot bed or you're hanging out the back otter Great huts, great flip overs. The only problem is they're heavy. So for those, you probably wouldn't need a machine because I ain't pulling that freaking thing unless you get a one man. So yeah, hope this helps you in the future for purchasing a hut. This is just my review. This two man clam XT thermal, amazing. So anyway guys, I'm gonna get back to fishing. That mark kind of take off. So I don't know, I might 
change the baits up here. But anyway, thanks for tuning in for this little review on the Clam Nanook XD Thermal, and good luck out there.